Hi, this is Fred with Quality One. I'm going to bring in a customer's job to see if I can make it any better. And it is this uh, cereal plate that I want to do. Okay, and let me just see what he's done. This looks good. Now let me double click on this and I can see this is not exactly what I'd like to see. So the margins and things I'm not sure where this was made at but I'm gonna hit F7 and I'm gonna swipe through everything because I like to start over and I'm gonna just uh, control C to copy it and hopefully this will work I'm gonna go to uh, notepad and control B nope, that didn't work control A and delete okay, let me just try this again I'll swipe through this Right mouse click. This should work. Control C. One time. Control V. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this. I'm going to take it out of Notepad, edit, and copy. I'll minimize it. And I'm going to just go ahead and delete this all. I can. I don't know how it was made, but anyways, let me just see if I can take it out of there. Okay, I'm going to go to my text and I'm going to go to my frame properties. And what I'm going to do, well, I've actually already set this up a little bit, but I'm going to make my bottom margin maybe about a quarter of an inch make my top margin uh, left margin probably on this tag is going to be about 0.3 right margin is going to be about 0.3 Oops, 0.3 tab and then I'm going to hit control V to paste it all in and you can see I've got it a little bit more uh, laid out a little bit better now if I want to go in and change any of the items maybe this is going to be 3.5 or what have you and uh, since this logo I know was brought in it it may have some issues I'm going to click away drag a piece away drag this away and I can see that there's a second set to the logo so I'm going to delete this one oops control Z control Z and control Z all right, let me try and grab just one just to see what happens here we've got this part of the logo I'm just going to drag it up and the logo hasn't changed so I can delete that one now let's see if there's anything else let me go to this part of it drag it up and that's all by itself so undo. Now, my preference is to delete this. Uh, I think it'll make a, a nicer looking logo. And then do the fill. Control H to group this. Go engrave, create toolpath, fill. Uh, remember the 15 cutter, sweep tool down, say OK. If I want to take this part of the logo, I have to Control J to unfreeze it or, and I'm going to select this one and this one and I'm going to go engrave create tool path and fill and then just say OK and then another trick that I do I know you could bring in the AI file at any time but I'm going to just hold the alt key and the control key and I'll just copy it over there that way I can use it if I ever need to I zoom in here and then I like to delete the outer and then since this is a logo I will typically typically group it and then I want this to engrave first second and then this would be third and let's see how it's going to engrave uh, my hotkey is control alt L but you can go under and uh, under layout sequence 
sequence by list and then I want the sign blank only so this will be first this group I want I'm going to arrow up I want that first now I'm holding the shift down and then just say okay file save as since this is a customer and this is the serial plate Q and E save and overwrite it hope this helps